Policymakers, educators and young professionals came together under one roof. The plan is to come up with strategies that will provide solutions to countries that struggle with skills development. The high-level policy debate revealed that many countries needed to address gender inequality in the workplace. Countries in Africa are amongst those struggling to break such gender stereotypes. I was making an example in the panel that in South Africa, if you're a male nurse, you know, we, you get mocked at because it's regarded as a woman, uh, you know, role. And if you're a bricklayer and you're a woman, it's like, ah, you're strong, Lachir, you know? Uh, so, so we need to move beyond those stereotypes and say there's no job that's specifically designed for women or for men and that all skills should cut across. So we've put in place, obviously, policy around employment equity, around uh, you know, economic ownership. African ministers of higher learning say they are collaborating to invest in skills development in their respective countries. We need to use uh, World, World Skills Africa for is about exchanging ideas, ensuring that everyone who's involved uh, at a continental level, I mean, we're going to Zambia next year for uh, World Skills Africa, uh, you know, so exchange of ideas, exchange of resources, so that collectively as a block, we are able to, uh, you know, because if we compete with African countries that also have the same level and capacity and technology with us, it means they make us better. Africa's youth competing in Lyon shared their views on the challenges that young people face in the workplace. I would say they should train more people and send them out to competitions like this for experience so when they come back they get service and questions from, uh, from those people and then they upgrade their tools and machinery for TVED. Winners of the World Skills competition will be announced at the closing ceremony on Sunday the 15th of September. Nonjabulom Tungamakamu, SABC News, Lyon, France.